Poland has accused Belarus of trying to trigger a major incident on the border between the two countries by encouraging migrants to try to force their way across. The Polish government says there are currently between three and 4,000 people at the border, with thousands more ready to follow them. 12,000 Polish troops have been deployed along the razor wire fence of the border. The European Union says Belarus is seeking revenge for Western sanctions. Our Europe correspondent Nick Beek has more. Rush hour this morning in Western Belarus, and they were only heading one way, towards the European Union. Accused of directing this surge of human traffic, President Lukashenko's regime, which has welcomed in thousands of migrants from around the world and is now pointing the way to the border with Poland. But at that border, this was the welcoming committee. If the sight and might of a Polish military helicopter was intended to turn them back, it didn't work. Neither did the tear gas. And soon they were trying to prise their way through to their goal, EU soil. The Polish authorities, themselves accused of pushing migrants back over the border illegally in recent months, released this video to show what they're dealing with. This crisis has been brewing for months. Six weeks ago, we found these men who'd been trapped in the forest between Belarus and Poland. We were playing us like a football. The Belarus will beat us, push us to Poland. The Poland will catch us, beat us, push us back to Belarus. You will face criminal charges. Today's mass attempt to cross into the EU here is the biggest so far and is more reminiscent of the scenes on the Greek Macedonian border during the Syrian migrant crisis more than five years ago. President Lukashenko, who has enjoyed Russia's support, claims all this is the EU's fault. But the European Union says he's weaponizing migrants in retaliation for sanctions. And tonight, it's thought more than 3,000 are stranded on the border as the temperature falls below zero. What has also been plummeting in recent weeks has been the relationship between the Polish government here in Warsaw and the rest of the European Union. But tonight the EU has expressed its full solidarity with Poland. Yet Poland is keeping in place this state of emergency in the border area, effectively banning aid agencies and journalists. So tonight, Sophie, there are lots of human rights groups who are very concerned about the level of force and the tactics that may be used in the name of protecting the EU's borders. Nick Beek in Poland, thank you.